Welcome to m and Airgun Review. Well, today I took a little trip to my not-so-local Gander Outdoors. Um, I walked in, and to my surprise, they had the Sig Sour MPX. They didn't have it in Dark Earth, but actually after seeing a Dark Earth model of the MCX, I really wasn't that impressed with that color, so I'm glad they had the black one. They had three or four of them, and I picked up one. Um, what I really went in there for was a Glock Gen 4 that they said they had, and I got there and they didn't have them. So, but anyhow, um, the first thing that I noticed about this was I was really impressed by was the weight. I think it weighs more than the Virtus. I could be wrong, but it's really close. It's a stout little gun. We're going to get into this right now. While I was there, I picked up some, um, some pellets, some 177s. I picked up a 7.4 grain, uh, Pointed tip, Crossman, 250 count. Kind of limited to what, you know, they had. And then I picked up the uh, a 400 count, 10.5 grain um, Piranha, which is kind of kind of a unique pellet. Really interested in trying these. Um, and, of course, I had to pick up some more Pelagon oil, if you know me. And the great thing about this is, is, is really what I paid. I, I didn't pay a lot. Um... I want to say that these were, I don't have, oh, let me grab the receipt right here and I'll show you. Okay. So this was originally $209.99, and this does come with a red dot, apparently. Um, and then if you're a club member, which I was not, um, you could have got it for, where was it here? Hold on here. Do, 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 do. Where am I? Club member price was, I think I got it for basically $151.56, and there's a reason for that. Because I wasn't a club member, the first thing they did is they pulled out this big, I don't know, outdoor world camping guide, but it's got a bunch of coupons in it. And it gave me $50 off my purchase today. Apparently, the club membership is around $79. I got $50 off my purchase, which dropped this, and I, I got a new um, M-Lock mount Picatinny rail for the Virtus so I could mount my um, forward grip. So I got that on, and I think that was like $32, and I ended up getting it for $11 something. Um, and then I ended up getting a $30 gift card, so I really couldn't beat that. I paid less for the stuff than if I didn't become a member. So it worked out today anyhow. Um, so props to, to Gander Outdoors, I guess, for, for doing that for me today, even though some of their customer service in there is freaking terrible in the gun department. The guys with attitudes, I'm sure you've all dealt with that before. But anyhow, let's get into this. We're going to do the unboxing. Six Hour MPX. Um, I've never shot one before. So they've been out for a long time. I've hemmed and hawed and, you know, pretty much dropped the ball on this as far as reviewing one. So we're going to do it. Um, side note, I wasn't able to get any CO2. They said they haven't seen CO2 canisters in months and months and months. So I'm going to have to order the 88 or 90 gram online. But let's get the gun and see exactly what it is. Now, for you, those of you who don't know, we can go over some stats. Um, package is nice. They do come very securely packaged when you get them. Um, SIG's packaging is pretty decent. I will give them that. Comes with a pellet tool, so I take it it doesn't have the compartment that the Virtus does, but I could be wrong. Uh, we got a red dot scope, and it is a SIG red dot with a battery. That's a bonus. So... Let's check this, set the scope out over to the side here, and we'll get to that in a second. Well, it's got nice lens covers on it too, some nice rubber lens covers. And we got our information booklets in here. Anything good and juicy, no stickers. I like stickers. I'm a sticker guy, I like stickers. And here is the MPX. And this is a solid little gun. This is neat. 
Okay, stats. What are we saying here? We're saying velocity up to 575 feet per second. I think they brought that down on the box from what they used to be. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they used to say like 600. Um, now I know that's running really, really, really light pellets, but we're going to convert this gun. This gun's gonna, actually going to go um, get the conversion, so we're going to run off of just air. Um, I just got to order the kit, figure out which one I want. So, yeah, pretty decent. 30-round magazine, it says, um, charging handle. Now, another thing. I'm interested in getting in these guns because I've heard so much about them. Every review is different. And what they say is you have to charge the handle. Some people say it's for aesthetics. And then I went to Sig Sauer site, and it actually says that you need it to pierce the CO2 canister. So I don't know which one to believe, but we'll find out when we dive into this gun. But the first thing I notice about this gun that really sets this apart is, is the heft of it. This is, this is very accurate in weight for sure. Um, it appears to have a nice ergonomic grip it's uh the size is nice it really fits well i like this now i see why it doesn't come with a forward grip because it's pretty much right where everything needs to be um co2 canister goes in here so there's the screw in style co2 and i like that you know this this seems to have a better build quality than the virtus out of the box anyhow i like the virtus it looks good but this this seems like a bit more solid of a gun. I was going to go with the longer barrel, but I like the looks of this, honestly. But once again, Sig, if you could make these ejection ports at least pop open and give us a mock uh, bolt inside, that would be nice. That would be a nice touch because I really like the looks of this a lot. <laughs> a real lot. And that flash hider is cool as shit. Do we have any barrel wobble? No barrel wobble. Nice. I don't think we might have to. We might not have to dive internally into this gun. That's going to be good. All right. So, how do we do that? Push it in. Box. That's simple. Okay. Nice. Now, as you all know, if you've looked at these, um, I'm going to. It's going to extend out, out a little bit longer, about three inches longer, to be exact. Um, when I convert this to an air. PCP style, but I think the trade-off is worth it. Now, I'm going to search around to see if I can find some smaller tanks, even if I have to, uh, you know, charge them more. Um, if I could find something that, I don't know, that maybe we could modify where the stock would still work, that would be amazing. I wouldn't mind having a valve sticking on the side through the tube if I have to, but we'll see what we can do there. It's not a big deal. But, the, you know, the markings on this gun are nice. It looks good. It's, it looks the part, right? It's pretty sweet. And I'm pretty sure the camera's not picking it up great because my camera sucks as of late. But it looks good. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Magazine-wise, let's see if this is like the Virtus. You know something? I'm curious. So here is our magazine. And these are 177s, this runs, and I am curious, let's pop out the ver what the difference is between the two, if any, or is it only belts that are different, because I'm curious myself, how about you? Is the belt different? What is it here? I'm hung up or something in there. Okay, so there we go. Right off the bat, you'll I'll notice that the 177 is, well, no, there is, okay, okay. Yeah, these appear to be, correct me if I'm wrong, pretty much the same magazine. I believe these are interchangeable, as long as the belts. Hmm. Very curious about that. Okay, okay. Well, let's try it. Let's put this one. Let's see if they fit the same. Uh oh, we have a difference. We do have a difference. 
There we go. Locking mechanism is different. <laughs> Where is the difference? Yeah, there's a bit of a difference. There is a bit. Let's see. Front's the same. Back's the same. So where is the locking difference? Very curious. Yeah, something's not letting it lock in there. Well, at least we know. So yeah, they're not they're not interchangeable. They did make them different. That's a shame. But now we know. Something that I was curious about, and now we know. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to get back to you some more with this rifle. Hopefully, um, we can get a chance to shoot it soon, but i got to get some CO2, and i got to order some because there's no place around here that carries it. So it's going to be a little bit. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and we will be back with you ASAP. Appreciate your time, and I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks, guys.